Courtney Lynn. So I know I said I wasn't going to skip any more weeks, but uh, nothing happened <laughs> week 14. Um, so I didn't make a video. So um, this is week 14 and 15, and I'm going to kind of do like a cravings haul. <laughs> okay, so um, first I'm going to talk about symptoms, um, which haven't really been a lot. So um, I have had a lot more energy. Um, not trying to go run a marathon or anything, but, um, but I've had a lot more energy. I finally got my furniture moved in the living room, which after much convincing of me telling Jason, yes, I can help you. It's not that heavy. I'll be okay. Um, we moved everything around and I got my Christmas tree put up and decorated and everything. And, um, so yeah, I've had lots more energy. Um, haven't really felt as tired during the day, except for yesterday when I took a four hour nap. <laughs> no idea where that came from, but, um, so yeah, that's that. And then, um, I have had like, um, cramping in like my lower, like left side. It's not like in the middle of my stomach or anything. It's almost, it feels like it's like where the side of my uterus would be like, I don't know if things are getting smashed or stretching or what. Um, I've read that there's like, um, there's like a, I don't remember what it is. If it's like a tendon, it's not a tendon. There's something that like is connected like to the side of your uterus and as it stretches and moves up, um, that stretches and it kind of, ligaments, it's some kind of ligament or something. And it, um, it stretches and that can sometimes like cause pain or whatever. So I don't know if it's that or just randomness or whatever. So, but I've had that. Um, and just over the last, like, um, it's Monday night now. So probably just like over this last weekend from like Thursday or Friday till now, um, I've just felt bloated, like, um, like period bloated. And I haven't really felt that way throughout the pregnancy. Um, I've felt normal. Um, and not really bloated at all. So, um, that's been a little weird. Uh, and then I think, I think that I am like bloated or like retaining some water or something because I had been hovering right around. I had gained, you know, the four pounds and like three of it. I gained just that first few days when I went off the diet, when I found out I was pregnant. So I had only gained like a pound and a half somewhere around there, um, like actually into the first trimester and everything. So, but total I was at like, um, I was around like four pounds. Um, and I, over the weekend, I gained like two more pounds. And I think that it is like the, I feel like I'm retaining water or whatever. Cause that, for that two pounds to just come out of nowhere. Um, at the same time that I'm feeling bloated, I'm thinking that's what it is. So, um, the other thing is, my nose. Uh, first of all, I think I've talked about it's been stuffy and runny and um, that hasn't stopped. But now it is like super nose. Um, this is kind of going to go with like the cravings and aversions, um, but the aversion side of it. So um, this is going to be kind of weird, but um, I grew up on a farm and we had chickens and for anybody who has had chickens that lay fresh eggs, um, washing the eggs after you gather them from the chickens, they have this smell. You can imagine it comes out of a chicken's butt. It's not going to smell great. Um, but they just have this smell. And it was usually my job to gather and wash the eggs um, when I was growing up. And that smell, I, could, I felt like I could never get it off my hands and I hated it. It was the worst thing. Let's not even get into the rooster attacking me. <laughs> Anyways, apparently I've been traumatized by chickens. So, um, so we got Chinese food and I was so excited because it sounded so good. And, um, what I usually get is, uh, chicken fried rice, um, with no vegetables and extra egg. So it's just rice, chicken, and eggs, like scrambled eggs in it. And... Usually there's like a normal amount of eggs. It's not too much, but it's enough, you know. And I get it from the same place all the time. And it's great. Um, 
I picked it up, I brought it home. As soon as I took it out of the bag, before I even really opened the container, I could smell it. It smelled like the eggs after I would wash them. And it, I, I'm like, okay, we're gonna push past this. It's gonna be good, it's fine. I've had this a million times, like it's fine. Um, the other thing is I've been pretty grossed out by chicken lately. Um, so I had the two things going for me, the eggs smelling weird and the chicken trying not to be grossed out by that because I'm still not 100% sure that it's even chicken <laughs> from the Chinese place. Um, so I had eaten a little bit, but not a whole lot. I put soy sauce on it, which I don't usually do, but I figured that would kind of mask the, um, the egginess of it, I guess. And after a few bites... I bit down on an eggshell and that was the end of it. I almost threw up. Um, I had to have Jason literally like take it out of my hands and get it out of the room and I couldn't take it. Um, I did go back later and try to refry it and add more soy sauce and fry that with it um, and add butter and stuff and try to get it more cooked and get the scent out and it did but every bite I took I was just waiting to bite down on an eggshell and it was still just grossing me out and I couldn't do it so um eggs chicken um we had leftover turkey from Thanksgiving in our fridge and um Jason was going to make himself sandwiches and he warmed the, the, the turkey up and the smell of it could not even take it so pretty much poultry <laughs> in general, apparently. Um, I did okay on Thanksgiving. I ate a little bit of turkey, but not a lot. Um, it was good. I mean, it was great turkey. It was, um, my dad deep fries the turkey and then he also smoked some. Um, but I just had some of the deep fried and it was good, but it was still like, it was close to chicken and it was a little much for me. So, um, and then <laughs> the other thing when I knew that my nose was like super nose, um, I think this was just yesterday, um, when I had taken my nap, I would fell asleep in the recliner, um, and I think it was right when I had woken up. Jason had been in the kitchen, and I don't know if he had just gone in there or what, but when I woke up, I walked into the kitchen, and it, it just hit me, like a wall of this stink. And I'm like, what is that smell? I'm like, what did you do out here? I'm like, did you eat pickles? He's like, yeah. I'm like, did you did you dump the juice somewhere? Did you spill it? And he's like, no. He's like, I literally ate one pickle, put the lid back on and put it back in the fridge. I'm like, I can't even take it. Like I had to leave the room because it, it stunk so bad. And I've never really been a huge fan of pickles, but I'll, I'll munch on the edge of them. I don't like the seeds. Um, but the smell or the taste, has never really bothered me, but oh my word, it it's it smelled so bad to me. Um, and then a little while later, I went back in and opened the fridge, and it hit me. It was just a wall of it again. So pickles are apparently not one of my weird cravings. <laughs> so um, that's pretty much it for my aversions and my uh, weird pregnancy super smelling powers. <laughs> Um, so let's talk about cravings. I, <laughs> since I said I was doing a little haul, I actually brought, um, a few of the things that I have been craving and pretty much have kept in the house. Um, the number one thing that I literally like cannot be without, if I don't have them, I like almost panic, are these. I love these. Like I've always liked them and I would get like a container and it would last me for like ever. But I will sit here and just pop these, like, nonstop. There are, said so there are about 53 in here. And I've been going through at least two of these a week. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I used to smoke. And it's almost like I am craving a cigarette. And it's these. And one day I couldn't figure out what I was craving. I'm like, I just, I need, there's something that I want. And I couldn't figure it out. And it was these. <laughs> And they've not left my side since. Um, so that's the main one. Um, the next one uh, is this. <laughs> well, let me tell you, none of these are really healthy. Um, but this. Um, they have it at McDonald's. And I kind of just stumbled upon it. It's not something that I normally drink. Um, 
I think I got it at like Texas Roadhouse like I don't know a month or so ago and normally when we go out to eat I will drink maybe half of my glass of whatever I get a lot of times I get water sometimes I get Mountain Dew um but I saw that on the menu and I'm like hmm hi C and I didn't know if it was orange or fruit punch or whatever but it just sounded good so I got that and literally before they even brought our food out I had drank the entire glass she brought me another glass and I drank like half of it and I'm like man what is going on I thought maybe I was just super thirsty or something so then like a few days later um I went to McDonald's and I'm like ooh they have high C and so I got the orange high C then and it was magical and then I've been, I've been getting fries with sweet, sweet and sour sauce and uh, the high C. And I did that a couple times and I'm like, okay, I gotta laugh fries. Um, and I finally went and found these little, these little tiny, tiny juice boxes <laughs> at Kroger. They are uh, 6.75 fluid ounces. I pretty much drink them in like 30 seconds. Um, but I like that it's so small because I'm not gonna sit down and drink like an entire giant glass of it because sometimes being so sugary, like I'll drink it fast because it's not carbonated and they'll make me kind of feel sick. So that has been a big one. And these, <laughs> uh, fruit by the foot. There's not really, not really a specific flavor. Um, I got just kind of like a mixed one. Um, but I, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier on, but I was eating gushers and then I also had, um, not the fruit by the foot, fruit roll-ups. And the fruit roll-ups kind of upset my stomach. And then I got the fruit by the foot at one point. And they don't upset my stomach and they're magical. <laughs> so I've been going through those pretty quickly. Um, when I want something sweet, it's just, um, I don't know, it's just a quick little sweet thing. Now, the next thing is my last craving item. It's going to be kind of controversial. <laughs> But um, from what I've read, I believe it's, it's either 100 or 120 milligrams or whatever it is of caffeine a day that is fine to have. And I don't drink this every day. I try to keep it like every three days or something like that. Um, but I do try to not have it too often. But um, as soon as I got pregnant, I started craving Mountain Dew again. I hadn't really been drinking it. I had been strictly on water. And I just, I wanted it so bad. And I'd gotten a couple times at like Panera or other places that had Mountain Dew. Um, but I had went to the gas station and I got a regular one. And then they're like two for whatever at uh, Speedway. So I got a regular one and then I thought I was grabbing a Code Red. Because I'm like, eh, I haven't had one of those in forever. That sounds pretty good. Um, so I get back to the house and I'm like, this kind of looks like the wrong color. Well, it is Mountain Dew Game Fuel. It says, Dew with a blast of citrus cherry flavor. It is not the same thing as Code Red, and it is what hopes and dreams are made of. <laughs> I love it. Um, so I pretty much immediately became addicted. Um, like I said, I don't drink it every day. I want it every day. <laughs> But I don't drink it every day. I think maybe my four-hour nap was because I didn't have any on Sunday. <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, that's it for my cravings. We are already almost at 15 minutes. Um, I'm going to tell a quick story about my endocrinologist, and then i got to cut this off. So, um, I've, been to the, I've been to the lab at the endocrinologist. Um, she's ordered lab work several times since I've been pregnant um, to check my thyroid, you know, to monitor that, because that needs to be monitored very closely when you're pregnant. So, um, I had done that, um, she's been monitoring it and everything, everything's been good, she's adjusted it when she needed to, um, but this is the first time that I had gone and seen her since I'd been pregnant. Sorry, I have something in my eye. Um, so, I pretty much credit her for getting me pregnant. Um, she's the first person that said, okay, here's your issues, here's what we're gonna do about it. It worked. Excuse me. Um, so I totally credit her. I think she's an excellent doctor. Um, I, I told my mom, honestly, if I could see her for the entire pregnancy, <laughs> I would. Um, so anyways, I went in, you know, they weigh me, take my blood pressure, yada, yada. 
go through my little history. I think they got a new computer system, so they were asking, like, more questions than normal. Um, plus, I told them that I was pregnant, even though I think they had that on file. But she asked, and I told her, and then I think she was asking more questions on top of the normal ones because of that. So she goes out, and then I'm waiting, and then uh, the doctor comes in, and she's like, hi, congratulations. And I, I stood up, and I was like, I'm giving you a hug. I gave her a hug, and I started crying. <laughs> and I'm like, I knew I was going to cry when I saw you. And um, I told her thank you and told her that I pretty much credit her. And um, she started tearing up too. <laughs> She's like, oh, you're going to get me going. I'm PMSing. And apparently she said it took her um, quite a while to conceive her first as well. So we had a little moment. <laughs> I told Jason, that's when you know that it's a good doctor. When the fact that you're pregnant and they're so happy for you that they cry with you. <laughs> so um, that's my little story about my endocrinologist. Um, yeah. So I think that is it. Um, I am going to stop here because we're at almost 17 minutes. So I'm going to do a quick belly shot and then I think that's it. And I will see you next week. Okay. So here is side view. And front. And other side. And that's it. See y'all next week. Bye.